Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I post new videos like this every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, we're, also, we're back with Toronto Souls. I know it's been a while. Just like with Tuesday's video, it's been a while since I got back to Eternal Darkness. So, yeah. Let's go. Um, where really is last stepped off? Oh, okay, okay. So, I now remember. We went to the past. Got, did the blood medallion thing, and then uh, the f fucking, uh, uh, the battery. <laughs> yeah, that's what we did. So I guess we'll go back and get those. Oh yeah, that's right. Those motherfuckers. Okay. The kitchen. I open. Ooh. Spicy. All right, we got that, I guess. You won't leave this place. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> All right, let's go get the battery. Should be charged as we went into the past. Ooh, now we can go to the... Oh, where the fuck is the library? Oh. The library is in the second floor. Alright. How are you guys doing? I just woke up. Ow. That's rude. I have places to go, sir. But you fuck off. Anyways. So, yeah. I slept way too long today. Because it's like... 11 at night now. <laughs> All right. 
right. Get up there. Put that in. Yeah, we. Fun. Ow. Hold on, bro. <laughs> You're a big dumb. Just chilling up there. What a fucker. <laughs> Hold on. Alright, I'm coming back. I wasn't prepared. God, every time I have to fucking fight something. Get fucked. You're big stupid. Anyways. Anything cool here? Hold on. Maybe I can beat him up while he's down. Fucked. So glad for this flashlight. Ah, oh, I'll be needing that. Oh, Ooh, we gotta play some chess. What's this? What's that? I don't know what it is. I like this little corner here. It's so nice. <laughs> it's a nice little corner. Is that it? I guess that was it. Okay. It's fine. Oh, let's switch back to this. Wrong fucking thing. No. Map. Uh where to go now? Hmm. Well, what about in here? Disc? Oh, air war. Give me back the floppy disk. Okay. Because I have a swanky floppy disk. I don't know what to do with it. Well, there's a lot of things I don't know what to do with. Um, I have this. I don't know what to fucking do with that. I have this. I don't know what to fucking do with that. I don't know what to do.
is a computer in here. Yeah. Um, write a new keyword. I don't. I don't know. Um. With, hold on. What is that? Eh. 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 Do you... Three plus six minus nine? What? Is that important? Should I know this? <laughs> eh. Let's try, but it's probably not a butts. <laughs> um, I don't know. Hold on, maybe. Okay, well, that was fun. Alright, anyways. <laughs> oh, maybe I can go back. Put it in that, uh, oh, fuck. That slot. No. You're dumb. Anyways. So maybe I can put it in there to... In here? Oh, we killed each other. <laughs> All right, back here. I'm preparing myself this time. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Yay. I 
fucking missed. Oh, I got a cheat. <laughs> I got serial killer. What is it? Oh, I kill 40 enemies. I'm a madman. Okay. Cool. Anything else that's neat? Ooh, we got a record. Nice. Spicy, spicy. Ooh. Deep that's always good. Ooh. First of May, nineteen sixty-eight. I am expecting Williams hopeful, but is more measured and demure than than last time. He hired a maid to serve me, and she has not left my side. At first, I did not like the idea, but Anna and I have become good friends during these months together. She is almost my age and shares a love for art. On some afternoons, we talk for hours about famous artists, poetry, paintings, and sculptures. I feel a little guilty. I could never talk talk about such things with William. Of course, I never cared too much about the only subject he loves to discuss, medicine. Okay. Is it? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. Ah, I don't think so, man. Don't you dare come in here. Okay. I didn't even look in that room, I'm sorry. <laughs> I probably missed something. This is oh W forty. Yes, you've been there before. Ooh. Turn that bitch. Okay. There's probably some good things I missed in that damn room. We got an eyeball. Oh, and the eye socket is missing. If that thing that I need was in that goddamn room with that weird thing, I'd be so upset. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> well, what's good? Oh, body still warm. He was probably left just hours ago. What is going on here? Um. We mean, what is going on here? You've been fighting monsters this whole goddamn time.
I don't know what to tell you. All right. 16th of December, 1994. I returned to the restroom where I left the subject and found she had escaped. How could I be so reckless? I have no more test subjects and since everybody has relocated to the new hospital, acquiring a new subjects is complicated. I will not wait any longer. I cannot stand by seeing her in the state of state in that state because of me and my ego. I will proceed to administer Maria with the do. I have seen December 1994. I have injected Maria with the antidote. At first, her body began convulsing and she released a deafening shriek. It only lasted a few seconds, after which everything went back to silence as she collapsed into the bed. It was her, her skin, her hair, her eyes looking at me, completely lucid. When she moved her lips weakly to say something, I stepped closer to listen. What she said stopped my heart. William. My father has taken the girls. I stepped away perplexed, her eyes slowly closed, and a pleased smile spread across her face. Did she wait all this time, trapped inside that thing, to tell me this? Her life has finally ended. Rest in peace, my loaf. The unspeakable thing I will do to you have no name, Noah. Once you will tell me what you did to my girls, you will beg, beg me to take your life. This is odd. I don't feel well at all. My heartbeat has accelerated, my mouth is dry, my eyes are cloudy, my throat is tight. These symptoms, someone has poisoned my wine. unlocked now. Door is unlocked. Aha! Uh -huh. There's one room I did not go into. And that was the children's room. With that weird thing. Is there like a safe point in here or something? No. Oh, hey, nails. Well, fuck. There is not. All right. Uh. How's my health? All right, I'm fine. All right, let's let's go. All right. Oof. Children's room are always creepy. What's that? Something could fit in the slot. A young child's diary. Alright. 15th of September, 1980. We fled the mansion, making as little noise as possible. We went to the port down the hill. Mother was agitated. She was having trouble breathing, and huge blisters were appearing on her skin. We were halfway over the old wooden bridge, 65 feet above the river, when men wearing those awful suits appeared from behind trees on each side. Mother held my sister between me and her, between me, her arms as we inched closer to the railings. The men approached us slowly as the bridge started to moan and crack. Mother pushed us closer and closer to the barrier. One of the planks broke and my sister screamed and fell over. I caught her by the arm, but wasn't strong enough to hold her for too long. She fell. I couldn't do anything to stop it. Mother didn't have any time to react and lost her footing too. The man grabbed us and took us to Grandfather Noah. Mother looked worse with each passing second. Grandfather had thrown me inside a locked cell. He told me that no one would hear me, no matter how much I screamed. He also said that since my sister had died, it was no use because he needed both of us to open the vault's entrance. After he walked away, I was left alone, locked inside a cell with a single candle to provide a light. 
I screamed and cried until I was exhausted. These may be the last words I will write. I am sure I will die here. Why did all this happen? I wish you were here, Father. Right? Okay, yes, yes, same thing. Ew. Because I don't have a thing. You know what I mean? The children's drawings are really great. They're not unsettling. Yeah, I don't have a thing. Eh? Oh god, it doesn't fit. Okay. Uh. I don't know. Either way, I'm going back around this way. <laughs> uh, how long? Okay. What a change in music. What's going on? Oh! <laughs> That's what's going on! Eh. Oh, God. That's what's going on. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that fucker gonna be chasing me this whole goddamn time? Cause if so... <sighs> okay. Uh... I just went around the whole fucking circle. What the fuck do I use this on? Okay, so if music gets really intense like that, then I know that that weird thing is coming <laughs> to get me. <laughs> oh boy. My favorite. At least it didn't do a lot of damage, though. That's the important part. And this motherfucker better not follow me in here. God damn it! This motherfucker gonna be everywhere. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Okay. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay. No.
Rusted. Okay. Eh. I done it. Ow. Eh. So strong. Doing so great. Okay, so do I hit it? What do I do with it? I probably nothing, it's fine. Fuck you! Oh, I need more fucking shotgun. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Sweet, a save. <laughs> you goddamn better believe I'm saving. Eh. Yay. Painting of an archangel brandishing a weapon. Okay. We're gonna achieve it. <laughs> Alright. 15th of September 1980. William, they have taken the girls. Father put a sedative in my drink, but luckily I realized before swallowing it. I tricked him into thinking I tricked him into believing that I was sleeping soundly, then got up and crossed the hall towards the meeting room, where I could see the light from under the door. I put my ear against the metal and could hear my father's voice intertwined with other men. Everything is ready for the ritual. The Wildbringer girls have been taken to the temple, said a voice I did not know. Perfect. If everything goes as planned, I will be the next leader of the, the Pollock sect, and together we will bring our savior back into the world, answered my father. After that, they walked in line towards the mausoleum. I must rescue my girls. If I do not come back with them, I hope you could forgive me. I know that 
You will do what is right. I love you. Danger. I'll beat him up. Something to do with those pictures? Or, um, it's probably this. Uh, okay. So confused. Um, that's some cool paintings, though. Fucking weird thing is gonna be out there. I don't know what the fuck it is, and I do not care to know where it is. <laughs> eyeball. Oh, oh, wait. There is that. It's upstairs. No. No. What if I swerve around? There you go. I can't do that stupid thing. Okay. How about that 
things out there too. Mm. I don't like that thing. I feel like I'm playing fucking Resident Evil 2 all over again. Nice. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Wait, does it involve with this thing? Hold on. Oh, there's a thing. Hold on. Let me try this diary. It's a time to read it. <laughs> Thanks to that stranger, I was able to get out of the cell. I hid the best I could inside the mansion, but Grandfather and the student men found me again. This time, they took me to the sewer side of the family crypt. <laughs> I got turned down. He told me that I wouldn't be able to escape no matter how much I cried and begged. Then he closed the door and left. Luckily, he didn't notice the lighter and flashlight I grabbed from the mansion. I found what appears to be a bedroom. There's a filthy bed, electricity, and even a functioning television. There are boxes of food and a pipe that provides drinking water from above. The smell was terrible. It reminded me of the suit of men who struck my mother just before she freed us from the metal crosses. Seven years have passed since my last entry. The television that offers only local channel channels is the only thing that kept, kept me sane. Sometimes I wonder why I still hold on to life. Blisters have started to appear on my skin. I can feel a burning sensation with each passing day. My appetite diminishes while the vomiting only gets worse. Ew. <laughs> Something's taken over me. Something evil. At night, I listen to the sounds of clinging metal behind the door that leads to the underground temple. After all these years, I am still unable to sleep with those noises ringing out. Okay, let's go. Oh, fuck! <laughs> what a 
is this bullshit? Ah! No, not you! Oh god, this is the worst. What is this bullshit? I'm going back upstairs. Terrible combo. Is that stupid flying thing? It doesn't seem like it wants to die. And there was a big boy. Hold on. Big boy. Wait. That thing is gone. Does it appear at random? I mean, if so, I'm not... I'm not mad. That's the case. I'm not upset. No. Okay. <laughs> 15th of March, 1927. I have finally found my purpose in life. The truth came to me through this book and from the hand of the creator. Right now I stand inside the secret temple. In the presence of a god waiting to be reborn, I can clearly see my destiny. I will dedicate my life to the rebirth of the Pollock Sec. Together, we will bring back our savior so he may return light to this wicked world. The fuck are you, Wesker? <laughs> oh, I got an ID card. Okay. Wesker, I want to be a god. <laughs> All right. Okay, so supposedly this is locked from the other side. Wait, where am I? I don't even have an app for where I am. Okay, so I guess that weird thing comes at random. That's good to know. <laughs> okay, how long did it be? Uh, gonna walk in a little bit. I need more shotgun though. I've been playing for a while, even though. Well, to, but to me, it's gonna be a while because a little bit. Was, I'm trying to figure shit out. It's gonna be shortened for you guys. <laughs> but, anyways, so if you guys enjoy the video, please you know, like, subscribe, all that stuff. It helps my channel and stuff. <laughs> And, um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.